I salute everyone. Uh, my name is Mr. Bodi. I'm sorry, today I have some challenge, so my camera is not clear. By then, uh, let's focus on the content. We are going to watch uh, two videos, and the first video is uh, showing a Ghanaian teacher who has turned to be a mason and building uh, modern blocks to build uh, his uh, class that he has been posted by Ghana government to go and teach. Now he is now a, a mason. Um, at the appropriate time, I will let you know his name, but he teaches in uh, Asasua in Upper Menya District, Eastern Region, in Ghana. Yeah, Ghana is 64 good years old, and that is some of the, uh, those are some of the conditions uh, teachers are uh, in. And the second video is going to show um, good conditions uh, of teachers in China. And thereafter, you know, uh, the, the actual problems Africa, African teachers are going through and the reason why uh, we have many graduates in Africa, but still, uh, they look uh, unuseful. The rate at which we maltreat teachers in the uh, in African continent is very bad. It looks as if we don't understand school and education. That is why we maltreat teachers like that. We don't respect teachers. And the, mo the lesson in this video is that we are entreating our African leaders to think like, please, we are entreating our African leaders to think like, with all due respect, like human beings. Because looking at what is happening elsewhere, some people are on desert, others are not having resources. We as Africans, we have everything. We have renewable and non-renewable resources. When we come to Ghana, I think we are the most, uh, we are leading in terms of uh, good production. But sadly, teachers are not uh, respected in the country. We don't treat teachers very well in the country. So I don't think they will, uh, we have molested them psychologically to the extent that when they go to classroom, they are not able to deliver work because the things that they need to deliver work are not available. So teachers are really suffering in Africa. And that is the reason why our education system in Africa is also poor. Yeah, so let's go and watch the video. And my lesson to everyone is that we need to change our attitude, the way we think, the way we act, and the way we live and do things. Because I think if African leaders are thinking well for Africans, we can build Africa and people will be proud of Africa. And I insist that Africa is the most richest continent in the world. But unfortunately, we lack patriotic leaders and followers with a positive attitude. So let's do that to have a better Africa. Let's go and watch the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification so that you watch and share each video that we will share. Thank you and have a nice time. My name is still Mr. Boydi. Thank you. Okay, so I'm taking a stroll this afternoon and decided to um, video these cars. I always say this, but people don't get it. We have to stop the stupid MPP and NDC politics. These are cars owned by teachers. All these cars you are seeing here are owned by teachers in China. Look at that. A teacher in China driving a Maserati. A teacher in China driving a Porsche. There's two brand new beamers over there. Look, look at those beamers. Yeah. Dude, let's go. I'm gonna. Look at this. These are owned by teachers. Ordinary teachers. Three Ordinary three. teachers. Look at that. This is owned by a teacher. Three Mercedes right there. They're all new. Three Mercedes, right? Look at. These are all new. Yeah. All these are owned by teachers in China. Teachers. 
how long will a teacher in Ghana have to work for to be able to buy herself a mini Cooper, that mini Cooper over there? We need to grow up. We need to start thinking. We need to stop being stupid and stop talking about NDC and NPP politics for no reason. Look at this BMW owned by a teacher. This is a seven series or something. A seven series, right? Oh, look at that. This is Millie. Millie is a teacher and this is Millie's car. Look Millie. How handsome Audi is. Millie, is that your car? Yeah, that's my car. That's your car. Yeah. Exactly. He is a teacher and that is his car. We just need to stop being stupid, honestly. We should stop being stupid. This is Millie's car and he's a teacher. Do you want me to drop you off somewhere? No, thank you, no, Millie. We'll just walk. We're from Africa. <laughs> <laughs>